I'm going to talk about trading contracts, contracts that are entered into between exporters, importers, distributors and the like. It involves in particular the drafting of terms and conditions of contracts, um, ensuring that the contract contain de proper detail of the products and the services that are being provided, dealing with such things as the transfer of risk and the protection of security interests and the compliance with local laws and standards which is very important for companies that are dealing with local distributors. It's important to ensure that we include in those contracts provisions that uh, properly protect the licensing and the protection of intellectual property and confidential information such as trademarks and website material and the like. Um, also obviously it's very important to in include information concerning um, payment terms and the method of payment, whether it's letter of credit, letters of credit to be used or otherwise, and warranties that are to be provided by one party to the other. Uh, insurance, uh, the appropriate insurance protections are there, indemnities and the limit of limitation of liabilities of the parties. And also importantly obviously the circumstances in which the term the contract will be terminated, as well as of course locally the governing law, whether it's Australian law or uh, or other law. Clients who are supplying product for distribution and the distributors who are who are distributing client uh, product that they that they bring in. They, uh, the, the, the benefit of it is that the, each part the idea of or the benefit of drawing the contract properly is to ensure that each party knows exactly what the liabilities they have and the responsibilities they have and doing that at an early stage is, at early stage enables the, them to to limit their capacity for argument and so that there's clarity and issues that come up uh, addressed at the outset rather than after things go wrong. If the contract's clear then there's much less room for argument.